we on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Not, none of you don't know my dad. <laughs> ah, man, it's going down. Hey, man, I got my guy here today, y'all. This guy, he family, man. Like we 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 run in the same circles, man. I, every every time I've seen this guy was something on a positive note, where it was something positive going on with what he was trying to do in this phase of his life, man. My boy Anthony Dewberry's in the building, man. What's going on, man? Hey, man, you know, man, just enjoying. Let me life. redo that, man. The nigga that came, the nigga that worked with game related, not gang related, is in the building, man. Yeah, 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 man. Real talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Real talk, man. Salute the boss, talk, man. One on one, man. Thank you real, so man. much for coming on the show, man. So I don't know if you even been watching this episode man, with Boss I, Talk, man. And I'm always on it, man. You have my boy Don Chief in there, man. Y'all came yeah, down, man. Be coming with him, but now, nah, man, I'm always tuned in to you since I met you, man. Wow, you know thank you saying? so much, nah, man. Talk. When I met you, uh, when we talked over there with the kids, man, for spring mm -hmm. break, a couple of kids been on here, too. They been coming through I've the show. I've been checking it out. Yeah, I've been yeah. checking it out, man. You know Them what I'm saying? Boy, yeah. hey, they held us accountable. They held us to a standard, you know, of, of okay, if, we call, if, if, if I call you when I get out, will you look out for me? And that, you know, we already, my ministry was already reading letters or messing with inmates as far as making sure not to just just forget where I came from. Keep, just staying humble. Mm -hmm. And um, when I met Charleston, you know, um, he came through and gave me opportunity to start doing something in that area again, you know, up close and personal. I thought that was dope, man. So when that happened, every opportunity, not just him, but anybody to come to me that's trying to do something for the kids, for people that just getting out of incarceration, I'm the type of dude that's gonna rock with that because that's my ministry. We need more of you, my guy. Man, you too. Square business. Yeah. But I yeah. wonder how many of those kids actually been out and haven't even reached out to anybody. Man, probably a few. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah probably a few. That's what I need to get with Miss Kim because she knows who's been released from who hasn't. Mm -hmm. And I really need to get with her. It just dawned on me when y'all were talking. I'm like, I wonder how many, because we only had two that reached out. But how many of them actually came out? No, three. That reached out? Yeah, three. But three. one of them, father wasn't... Um, I think he would Oh, yeah, bring yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember yeah, that. It was one. three. But yeah. uh, how many more, whether forgot about it or mm -hmm. just like, man, I'm not even going, you know what I mean? Yeah. So for us to reach out to them just to double check on them. Yeah, exactly. But you know what, though? Just by those three that did check in, uh, it kind of opened eyes up to everybody else, though. Yeah. Because I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You know, we got a lot of people that go inside the facilities to talk. And don't do nothing. And at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's over with, right? It's over with, point blank, period. So so for a kid to be able to say, like I was watching the episode with the tower when he came in, mm -hmm. I'm watching him. He was sincere, man. So it, it's it's like we you, you see the sincerity in the kids that's saying, hey, man, I really need help, right? Yeah. But we sit around and we have everybody with the play play. They play the they play the uh, uh, the role of I'm really I'm really for you types you know what I'm saying but in reality you are not these kids really won't help though they really won't help that's why you see them coming in so what you doing now is you creating it to what the kids can really say you know what man boss talk the real deal. And they oh, talk yeah. to each other. They do they talk, really and they yeah, do. So they one know. Of them really he do. said, "He said because when other one got in trouble, or whatever, he knew about it. You know what I mean? But what I look at too, what I was thinking about, even when we were here with um, him on that show, I it was, was Trayon, Trayon, Trey yeah. right? And I was saying that what we should do with Trayon is have him turn around now and help the other, help yes. us help the other kids. Yes. Because although he's he hasn't gotten to a point where he needs to be settled yet and stuff like that, with helping others, it helps yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? It keeps you out of trouble because you stay busy trying to help somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I really think that that's what should be another step included into the whole scenario is the successful stories of the boys coming out and we're helping them, have them turn around and start you know, reaching out because they're the other kids' ages yes. where they'll listen to them and be like, man, you know, there's another way out when yeah. you come out. You nah, know? Dude, Barry, let me, let's, let's, let's home back in. Let's pull it back in. 
Okay. Pull the ropes back in. Let's let's you know, know I, we want to know about Dewberry. Anthony Dewberry, who he is, because yeah. um there's been some uh alleged things said, speculated of who <laughs> Anthony Dewberry. Uh, yeah, that way, man. Yeah, but uh, we want to know just kind of like uh, coming up. I know you're from West Dallas. Yeah. Um, re well respected uh, through a, a lot of lot of cats that I've ran into. You know, just asking about you, they be like, "Yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy." You know. So just tell us a little bit about who you are. What part did you? Was you from uh, uh, what they call it, Rupa Circle or, or Fish nah, Trap? Man, where uh, you Where you from over there? You know, I always tell everybody, man, you know, I'm from West Dallas, man. You know what I'm saying? And people be like, what part of side? You from where? You from Rupert Circle? Oh, uh, uh, you from Fish Trap or you from Carl Hampson? Well, I always tell people this here, I'm from West Dallas. Okay. The reason why I say that is because of this here. Around. I stayed in Oak Cliff. I mean, I stayed in uh, on Rupert. I stayed on Fish Trap. I stayed across Hampson. Okay. So, therefore, man, I say West Dallas. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, that's just... Point blank, so you won't know who what I rep. I'm West Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Straight point blank, period, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how it is, man. But uh, so, yeah, so coming up, how when you came up, I know you got it ran into some trouble with the law. No, I want to go back before that. I want to know as a child, uh oh, um, single mom, single dad, why did you move to three um, different locations like that? Three different locations, um, brother, sister. I want to know because nobody, no child is born just bad in bad Facts. stuff whatever we want to know how it started see that's the fact right that's what you just said is 100 percent fact right but i think i'm a different breed i'm a different from a lot of kids that went through what i went through because i had a mother and a father okay you know what i'm saying they wasn't together but but they were in your life they was in my life okay so my daddy he was a my dad always stayed like north dallas area that mm -hmm. was him you know what I'm saying? He always, you know, he did what he did. You know, fur coats. That's him. But pimping? Nah, he just that's it. He, nah, he didn't fur pimp. Coach? He just he just that's his style. He liked Snake the style. skins, fur coats. He worked at a fur a fur company. Oh, okay, he so made he liked to go. Get, yeah. So that's he that liked was, to show out. Yeah, that's him. You know what I'm saying? Two eighty Z. You know, motorcycle. Two eighty Z. Yeah, that's him. That's his. You know. But so growing up, you it saw was, all of that. I seen that. You know what I'm saying? He had a swag. My, my old man always had a swag. Okay. But my old man, I always lived in the good areas. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And he didn't get all of that swag from being on the street. No. Okay, uh -uh. so you saw that part as well. So my thing is, I'm 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 in the hood now. Okay. You see what I'm saying? With my tea. My daddy wanted me to come over there with him. Okay. I don't want that. Because they having fun over here. How so, old were you at that time? Man, I was seven, eight. Cell mate, mm -hmm. my whole life, you know what I'm saying. But most boys want to be with their dad. Not a cell mate, not, not a cell mate. But see, it's, it's not, it's not. See, what what no, the no, kids to it is, it wasn't like okay, you got, I got my dad right. Mm -hmm. I respect him and love him, mm -hmm. but I got a bigger brother. Okay, and you love him more. That's who I look up to. You get what I'm saying? Because he was there in your life a lot more. Yes, I'm every day. Every day. In the respect that how he had. How old you saying bigger brother? How much older uh, is he? My big brother like six years older than me. Okay. He about yeah, my, yeah six years old. Old enough than that me. he doing some stuff. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. So I looked it up to my big brother. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's, 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 he was he was a uh, mm -hmm. he was my role model coming up. Okay, gotcha. Even though I can watch my dad do all of what he did and everything been positive in his life, I looked it up to my big brother. Then I had another brother too that's in the middle of us, mm -hmm. and he he straight swear, you know what I'm saying, everything good. You but know? your big brother, how was his relationship with your dad? Same father? No, different father. A different father. Okay, so your how father many years didn't in between? Six. He six, said six. six. I would, I would, so no. he so your father didn't really try to be a father to to, to the oldest. Yes, he did. He did. But he wasn't successful doing that. My big brother lost his father when he was young. Mm -hmm. My big brother's father got killed. Okay. You see what I'm saying? My big brother had, he he had, like, he was very, 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 very aggressive. So. Had a lot of anger built yes, up. Yes, he did. So, during the separation of my mother and my father, you know what I'm saying? My father doing his, what he doing now, and my mother, he she raising us. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I get the opportunity to go with my dad. He didn't. Mm. You see what I'm saying? He didn't try to take him 
over there for the summers, for the this, he, for the My that. brother don't want that. He didn't want that. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to realize that, okay, you, you, I'm dealing, you dealing with, if I'm at seven, he at like 13. Right. You see what I'm saying? He a teenager. I want to do teenage boys. I'm in the boys club. Then my time, like I said, my brother, he, he was boxing. He was doing everything. So this is what he do. So it was a it's, it was a gap to where you know he was doing what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here watching my big brother. But I watched what 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 was it? I was fascinated with was the respect everybody had for him. The respect they had for him, right? So and then now. As you as you grow, as you grow, as you grow, and living in West Dallas, I always tell a person, man, you know, we live in a poor world. We live where you have to prove yourself to even come outside to go to the fuck to the store truck, man. You can't even go to the kinder house. You got to prove yourself without somebody trying to see, you know, trying to test you, trying to test you. You see what I'm saying? So, I I always was feeling like I don't want to grow up under that's his little brother. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that was my mindset. Mm-hmm. Nah, that ain't, uh-uh. So I had to, you know, so that what made me start acting out. How old were you when you started acting out? Man, I was like, I mean, far as acting out, it was like, Started doing criminal activity, yeah. I was like 13. 13, you did it so that early? Yeah, I was like 13, man. You know, I started just started dibbling and dabbling and doing criminal activity. You so know did your father know about this, that you were? Because, okay, because I was about to say, if he knew about that, he could come, at 13, he could come in like, you coming with me, there's no choice. See, he You coming. He never knew. My mother never knew. Wow. How you kept it a secret from now? The reason why I did it, because it was like this, right? My mom, she worked. When she come in, she going to bingo. Okay. So we got a gap to where we got action to do what we do. You see what I'm saying? So when I go outside to go shoot dice or go outside to go, you know what I'm saying, when I first start selling weed, man, man, I still, R.I.P. Kenny Glove, first person gave me some weed to sell, right? But when I was out there selling weed, I got a time. And I know, okay, she finna come in, she finna go, Okay, she finna go to the bingo. So when she go to the bingo, I, okay, I'm gonna go out. So I used to jump out the windows and, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we trying to keep, we had to keep, cause she wasn't, she wasn't going for it. Your younger brother didn't tell it on you? Cause you said he was a square. Nah, I'm up. He, he middle my, brother. The middle he brother. Yeah. Square yeah. in a circle. Yeah, yeah, so he didn't tell it? He used to. <laughs> <laughs> he used to. See, he used to, he used to tell, nah, mama, he just jumped out the window, he down there shooting dice right now. And she gonna come and embarrass you, right? Ah. Yeah. So I'm like, man. So she nigga. know you out there doing some stuff. Yeah, like nigga, this nigga snitching. So now you gotta realize though, as a mother, she, my mother was like this here. Not my baby boy. Not my baby boy. My baby boy ain't done that. So I knew I could ride that wave for so long. When I mm-hmm. start at school, when you start getting into fights in the school house, right? And it's like. Dang, y'all getting into a fight in the school, huh? Then I come home like, man, say you had a fight. Yeah, man, he tried to jump on me. Or now he, he did this or she going to believe me. You know what I'm saying? Because she looking at me like, man, I'm the baby boy. I'm, I'm her baby boy. That's the way it goes. No, you know what but I'm even after so many, you would think that that would go out the window. Like, she don't nah, play by the sun. Too, yeah, but some. see, the only thing about it was, I think, you got to look at it. You got to, because I look at my son, right? And I see, the, I see me in him. Mm. Is that scary? How old is he? Like, I'm telling you. Is that scary? He, that's my exact. How I, old is he? He, he, uh, he nine. But is that scary? Yes. And that's the reason why I want him to stay with me so bad. Because I watch him and I, I literally see him. And you see yourself. Oh, man. He'll say certain things and I'll be like, oh, this dude sounds just like. So so, let's go. Let's let's let's. So you you shooting dice? Was you shooting dice with the Rambo's yet? 
Man, that's my man. Listen, man. <laughs> Charles Neal. Remember, was, I, know, I, I took her over there. We asked him about you. He was by influence. He was. I took him. I took her over to his house, didn't I? Yeah, but when oh, well, I not his house, I he meet, got a club. He got a club. But when him. I meet him, he seems because I he hear stories back, he? about him, and I'm like, no, not him. Yeah, yeah, him. But now he, Charles, Charles always been laid back. Yeah, Charles always. He been don't laid look back. like he could harm a fly. He. That's the reason why when you see Charles, he always been laid, laid back. back. But he gonna gamble. He always <laughs> my, you know. When we go out there to gamble. Yeah, he gonna try to get you, but you, I know you. See, Charles was the first person that that used to when I used to go with him. We, we used to ride in the car together. You know what I'm saying? When you talk to Ram, tell him remember this. Show, when he used to go over to a girl house, and I used to go there with him. And they, and the, and, and the home girl used to be like, "Man, who was it? How old he is? Oh man, I'm 18. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I was 18. Oh you. Oh, Oh, he 18? Yeah, that's, yeah, he 18. So I used to always lie about my age when I was around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, man, we go way back, man. That's, that's man. Yeah, that's yeah like, I just that's said OG. gambling. He said dice. Nice. I know it's going down. Yeah, that's big homie. That's big homie, man. So, so when, now let's get, let's get to the, the fact A little further of, ahead. Yeah, a little further ahead. When you start, okay, when you get, when, when did you get this time? Because you had to get this time early. I got early. this time when I, in 1992. I was 15 years old. You were 15. They charged you as an adult. Yeah. Well, I got, I, uh, I no, no, no. Not yet. I had went to TYC. You went to TYC first? I went to TYC for two years. So when you did that, did your mama say, not my boy anymore? <laughs> you know what's crazy part about it? What? When I called my murder case. At 15? At 15, at the club, right? And I came home, because I stayed around the corner from the club. Okay. She heard the shoe. Mm-hmm. She came out of the house and, ca- and went over there. By this time, I done made it all the way back to the house. Mm-hmm. Wow. But I would make it seem like, nah, I've been in the house all day, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right? So she like, yeah, you know they say you, you killed that boy, right? I said, who they said I did that? She said, yeah, yeah, they said, you, you know they said you did that. I'm like, for real? She said, boy, yeah. I said, uh, she said, yeah, and uh, I'm finna call your daddy too. Wow. So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? So now it, the police end up coming down our street, but I ended up running though. Yeah. So, but when I run, I run to the project. I stayed in the house at the time, you know what I'm saying? But uh, my old man came and got me. T. Jones, she like, listen, you ain't doing no running, man. Yeah. Um, we finna go down here. You finna tell him folks what happened. And this is what we finna do. Wow, that's what we ain't mom, finna do no running. That's what man. mom was like, man. And, what, and daddy let, said the same thing. Let them kill yeah. you. See, I ain't finna let these laws kill you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather see you inside this inside these jail cell before I let one of these laws kill you. Yeah, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I still remember that when I went in, turned myself in, and you know, I went through the project, the process, you know what I'm saying? And I think, you know, at that time, you know, she was she was going through her most emotional, you know what I'm saying? Of seeing her baby son but go she, through what he's going through, like for you then. stayed one boy one million. You hear me? I'm talking about. But she is the reason why I was able to come home and transition the way I'm transitioning, right? Because not, not when you turned 18. No, no, no. What I'm saying is like when I when I got no in the beginning in the beginning. Yeah, when I, I start, you, you know what I'm saying. So when I like I said when I when, when once I received that time. And how much time was that? It was 28 years. For when you were 15? Yeah. Okay. They gave me 28 years, right? And I'm looking at her like, it's going to be all right. I'm going to make it home. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's was the thing I told her. Like, mama, I'm going to make it home. No, if I got to do 28 years, I'm going to make it home. You see what I'm saying? Because I had to accept the fact that I jumped off the porch. Into the fire. Into that fire. Mm-hmm. Trying to impress <laughs> individuals, bro. <clears throat> I had to accept that. So I had to take that on my chin and do what I had to do. And that is go do my time. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that's so that's that's how that was, man. I went to TYC. For three For two years. Two years. Went to TYC for two years, and they sent me to the penitentiary. 
It, so I mean, at seventeen. Yeah, at seventeen. You went to the, you went to the painting. Yes. Okay, but I what remember you saying it was uh nineteen ninety five. Ninety five. You you went through Gurney or you went through? Uh, no, nah, I went through Diagnostic and went straight to Ferks. Ooh, you was on rock and roll unit. Straight to Ferks. Straight but rock and roll. What straight I want to know is that okay, because you said you looked up to your big brother. Yeah. And he was in the streets too. Yeah. At that time, he was fighting. A, at that time, he was fighting attempted murder. So as soon as I got picked up, uh, they they end up picking him up due to the fact that. It was a, like the the witnesses didn't want to testify, saying that he was going to do something and all this here. So they end when they once they picked him up, that's when they started my trial. Mm. You know, what I'm was saying? that his first time getting in trouble as well? No, hell no, no, no. no, no, no he's <laughs> no, no, no. so when you had gotten that case and stuff, did he even say anything to you? As I, in, like, you know, when you think about a big brother, some, you know, words of wisdom, some, some. I know that he's down the same path, but did he say anything to you? Man, one thing about my big bro, man, I think that he never, he, he didn't really want me to jump in this game because I never, ever done criminal activity with my big bro. He could have stopped you. Well. that Because he know that you looked up to him. I don't he think he was. When, when 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 he when you look I'm looking at it like this when you got a kid he's a kid himself mm -hmm. and he living in his world mm -hmm. right I don't think he having the time to sit back and be like my little brother don't do this or don't do that because I used to steal my brother guns out the house see when I was coming up I used to jump I used to know how to Pick the lock and go on there and get his guns and everything until he found out. We had a conversation, and the conversation about jumping off the porch. Like, bro, if you do this, this what's happening. If somebody do this, bro, this what you do. I'd rather see you in jail than I'd rather just see you dead. Right. So don't go out here and grab no pistol if you're not gonna do this. You see what I'm saying? So I used to have we used to have conversations like this, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that, you know, it was pretty much like, man, if you want to be a street dude, I'm going to give you the street game because mm -hmm. I, I can't change it. That's almost like the movie we were watching the other night, um, 50 Cent uh, movie, um, Power, but it's Raising yeah. Cain. Yeah. There was an episode where the mom wanted to keep him, which is, which is 50 Cent, out of the street. Go to college, go do this, go do that, mm -hmm. but she's in the game. And eventually, he wanted so bad to be in the game. He went behind her back, did some stuff. She eventually had to break down and show him how to do the game because ain't nobody that's going to teach him as good as the queen pen. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, as I much as she didn't want to do it because she, she wanted a better life for him because everybody who loves somebody don't want that life for you. Exactly. So how was it going in? I know when they first get you in there, they get you in the diagnostics or whatever. You are on the such and such unit. You will be, you know, da, 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 da. You know, you know how they do it. They put that, try to put the scare tactic on you. You are already facing all this time. You're not trying to hear it. And you only watch movies. Well, you had been in TYC, but you hadn't been to the big house. Mm -hmm. So that was a big move, too. How yeah. different that is was a it? Big, that was a big move because he's in What's his mind. Difference? He being told oh. all these stories, right? Man, for real. So, because when you first get there, you don't know what to expect. What's the difference? The I'm difference asking. is this here. TYC, mm -hmm. you got house parents, mm -hmm. all right? They looking over you. They really teaching you skills mm -hmm. for you to better yourself in life. Okay. Okay? In prison, when you get out the gate, when I went to Ferguson, they trying to break you. It ain't about trying to school you. They want to see, or if you weak, I'm going to break you. So and these are the guards that are doing it? No, or no, no, no. These are inmates. These inmates. inmates. Inmates ran the prison yeah. at that okay. time. Allow men to go to, hey, you finna, we got a new ship and just came in. Hey, gonna go to three row. He'll go to three row. And you might fight three, four times back to back, back to, to back. back. And it's not fighting because they want to, to uh, see, you know. They they fight you because they want to break you. Is that, does that, 
depend on the unit, the you, unit go you go to because I've known people who went to the feds or, and so forth it's and the, they hear before going they hear that this is how it is but when they go it's not like that. Nah, it ain't. Uh, uh, I'm telling what you hear about Ferguson is what exactly happened. That one is like It's that. a whole nother life. Ferguson and Rock and Roll. Yeah. It's, a, it, it's like let's You been to Ferguson? Prince Robinson uh, Man, Ferguson Miller, is man. Miller. Ferguson was the gladiator Really, the gladiator for out of all of them. Out of man, all of them. It's, during that time, he talking yes. about is it, it was still like that now? They had one down there. I don't think uh, no, that ain't like it, that. it ain't like okay. that no more. They had one in 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 uh in 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 down in El Paso or no San Mexican unit that was mm -hmm. kind of comparable to it during that time. Yeah, but I can't remember the name of it. Oh, I know you're talking about though. But it was it was one. It's in Hundo. Yeah, it it was like, but Ferguson unit for 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 me when I thought about it, I'm like, damn, them, them young black niggas over there acting a fool. Man, man, when I when I mean, you know you go to diagnostic, you go to you. They tell my you. little partner said they had a day out there called Freaky Friday. That's what yeah. he would call it, Freaky yes, sir. Friday. Look Freaky Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What does that mean? Man, you would go to the wreck yard. <laughs> he said, cut one eyebrow. You don't, if he didn't you don't go. know. You don't know who you gonna fight. You don't know. Just go to the wreck. Everybody go to the wreck yard. And somebody's going to tell you, hey, you come here, let's go. We finna fight. Yeah, Freaky Friday. And it was a thing where. And the guards didn't say nothing. No, nah, guards used to line up. You, like, like, and let y'all fight. Yeah, I literally, like, this is, like, no, this is, man, I'm talking no about. Care. It's going to be a lot of laws talking like about that, this, right? Like in the movies. The captain, the lieutenants used to come outside on Friday just to see me fight. When I was on close cuss. Were you that bad of a fighter? I just was, I, I, I mean, I, I just knew how to, you know. I wonder, do they be betting, gambling on, on, on the inmates? It ain't even that. What it was more about was, it was more like, I told you about him. I told you, and they, this, this how it was. Mm. So that's why I say like, going to Ferguson, oh man, it was, that's, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a reality check. That's I mean, I mean, I can't, you. I can't really. It's, it's so real because I heard you hear people talk about the stories. Yeah, I heard the stories. And then you hear people say, try to. Some people try to glorify the situation, right? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you right. But I'm gonna tell you something, and it's real, right? You can't glorify that. You see, what I'm saying. You got them. Some them, I call them knuckleheads because. We'll go down there and fight probably and be like, man, I'm the king. I'm the king. I it's did this. I did that. You can't do that, though. You mm -hmm. can't. See, over there, it's impossible. Why? You going to meet your man. A fight? You had a fight? That's, no. You Man, I'm talking about like literally. You might have about five, six fights in one, So nobody could hours. say that they was like. No. It's impossible. It's impossible. No, it's impossible because you got individuals People that's holding it down, it's like 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 when I went there, it was about the cities, mm. Dallas, Houston, whatever, right? But I was gang related. You see what I'm saying? So when I came in, you know, we got West Dallas, you know, everybody. But Dallas is Dallas, you know what I'm saying? But at that time, Oak Cliff used to have a click. They had a click gang that was awesome. They had them niggas. You gonna fight seven niggas? Them niggas had a click that was boy. So. That's how it was. You see what I'm saying? But I I kind of branched off on some gang shit. Because I really didn't like that shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that chicken. I ain't, I hate. I, I didn't really like it. But you got to realize something. That you mind your business until you get in the position to change. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? I get it. So I knew my thing. So now they like, damn, bro. You know, anybody, yeah, you fighting. I'm fighting every day. Why? It's because I'm trying to build up a reputation. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And the reputation I'm trying to build up is to put me in, I'm going to get in a certain position to where, nigga, I'm going to, shit, nigga, I'm going to change the game. Nigga, I, nigga, I ain't, ain't no nigga, I ain't, because I didn't like that. Because, man, I You're mean. You're young at this time, too. I'm young, but I'm so advanced, and I was on, I was always on point. Did anybody get killed? Oh, it, yeah. Oh, man, it's, it's I mean. That's in life. the fight, people getting killed like it was nothing. In the fight, in the fight, it's nothing. You gonna get man, I, man, man. And, I, I and, mean, the, and the guards are there, and they could have stopped it. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rated up with y'all. Mm -hmm. This about the, this, this back then allow man. You can be coming down a child. 
walking in the hallway. We got to peel one. Whenever you see somebody with a jacket like this, guess what? They have a shank. No, just keep walking. Because it's a punk in front of him and he fucking him. Wow. The mm. law right there. Know what's going on. Telling everybody, y'all keep going. Facts. Wow. See what I'm saying? I, and I get it. I get now, it. And, and that's how, that's how. Corrupt the. Corrupt the system was. And then we couldn't even, like, if you go to breakfast, you better go to breakfast at least by 10 deep. Mm. I mean, them loud was beating the. But you go, they literally was on purpose talking to you. You motherfucker, you know? So you can just say, huh? So put your head against the wall, hit your head against the wall, brush your nose, boom, beat you down. And the, and the crazy part about that is you. You have an enduring, and, and he leaving you on that unit because you got a long time. Some people hit Coldfield, some people hit Ferguson. There was some Clemens unit. Some people, you know, but you own the Ferguson unit, and you doing your time. How much time did you, you do that? I was just about to say how much. I did eleven years over there. Then you had to sent, deal with that for eleven years. Eleven years. I did eleven years over there, and that was a tough time. From what year to what year? I got the. I got the. Two, I got there in ninety. I got there in ninety five, uh -huh. and I, I I left there like two thousand six. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Did That's, you ever build up your reputation to a point like what you nah, wanted? No, I was a big dog. After you've been there so long, no, nah, I was mm -hmm. a big dog. Did you make any changes? I made a whole lot of changes. When no when no civilian checking now crip, they came through the door no more. You know what I'm saying? It couldn't be no crip messing with no homosexuals. Made a change. No, I I I made a I made a humongous change in it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And 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 let's let's talk. I want to talk about the part where people don't like to talk about it, but I always tell people when you go to prison, you get naked a lot. It's very it's it's so demeanoring. And like for the people to come out, they don't tell you this part. But people get naked all day long. All day. But then when you look at like it's say like you a play normal sports, thing, but it's not normal. But say look at the guys they who play make, sports. When you go to go to take a shower, you in front of a whole bunch of guys yeah, taking but you a shower. Got, yeah, so. but you ain't bending over and letting them look up your butt and all that. Oh, so that's what you're talking you know what I'm about. <laughs> that's <laughs> not normal. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That, no, but when you're saying when you're saying you know showers and stuff like that, I'm not thinking about that part because I would never know about oh, that. Oh, they telling you to bend over, think but you yeah. about guys every you time. Know, you, all y'all is go take a shower. No, same it ain't place. like that. It's bigger than that. It's demeanor in it's you. Bigger than it's that. making it's 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 it, it, you get used to your mind got to be strong, but for you to have to get naked every time you go outside, come back in, whatever you doing, pull your pants, you know all that. that. But see, what you you got to realize, somebody football player, what you talking about? They going inside the shower, they coming out the shower and doing what? Putting a tile over them. Mm -hmm. If you put a tile over you in prison, you are gay. Really? Huh? That's a skirt. No, no, that's a no, no. So when you come out from taking a shower, you just go straight to? No, you take a shower, you get in the line, and it's a line. That whole line, everybody naked. naked. Everybody to naked. To go get your clothes or to go get a to towel? To go get your towel and your clothes. And you wash out, you dry off, and you put your clothes on. You gotta tell your little homies that come in from the world cause they thinking like you. Right. Man, I'm gonna put my towel on me. Hey man, say don't do that, boy. Don't do that. You know, yeah. it's prison break you down to the lowest. Prison make abnormal things normal. normal. Like you wish to be alone. Yes, it break you. It, it it literally break you all the way down to the like to the to where I can have a conversation with you now. In your mind, you'll be like, how did you survive that? But then you have some people who come out of prison and want to go back. They the craziest people in the United States <laughs> of America. <laughs> no, but serious, have you never met some people who purposely come out I don't think, and get in trouble to go back because they're not used to this life out here? I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that a lot of them want to go back. I don't think that, but I think a lot of them, they don't know nothing else. Mm -hmm. They don't know nothing else, right? So when you come out here, they looking at to survival. They forget about what happened inside the institution. You see what I'm saying? So what they they do what they do 
not thinking that it's going to lead them back to they very insane. So I see people go back down there and I be like, nigga, what's it? But when they get in the county, reality hit them and they like, man, damn, bro. You hear the conversation because they know they got to go back, right? So I don't think they want to go back. It's just that a lot of them don't know nothing. Exactly. They don't know nothing, to be honest. <laughs> Let me ask you something. And 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 this here is just, I guess, moving forward a little bit. As um, far as um, you, when you when you do this time, what was the next unit that you hit? Uh, I hit LS1. LS1. The transformation. That was the whole transformation when I hit LS1, bro. That that What was so different about that? You know? Man, shit. When I hit LS1, man, uh, I had put in... Damn, I had put in for a college. I had put in for a college like three years, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I really think they forgot about it. They ended up calling me wow. for this college trade, right? Man, when they came and told me that I'm finna leave Ferguson and go to another unit. That had to be something else, too. Boy, I, boy, I felt so great. I was like, really? oh, man. Oh, what? You was happy. Man, I was the happiest man in you. I thought I made parole. For real? <laughs> it was that bad at Ferguson. You were like, damn. But you would think I that you top, But you would think that you top dog now, so you running stuff down but there you that you realize would be something. good. You got, but you got to realize something. I got on a suit. Come, guess what? When I get inside that cell, I got to take that suit off. I got to read that letter that said, baby, mama sick. Wow. Baby, this is going on in the world. You see what I'm saying? So I got to take that suit off and go to reality. When I go to visitation and I'm looking at mama and mama hurt. But when I come back out that cell, I gotta put a suit back on because I can't show no weakness. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Did so you have my, a cellmate? Yeah, I had a cellmate. So my thing was, I gotta get away from this place, man. You know what I'm saying? How different was uh, Ellis Unit man. ran for as uh, 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 versus Ferguson Unit? Man, when I when you hit when I hit, you gotta realize. Ellis One is the old death row. So people that was on Ellis One had a death sentence. So when they passed that law and gave everybody mandatory life sentences, they all is over there. So it majority of that unit had the mandatory life sentence, but they was all on death row. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I hit that unit, I'm, I see nothing but old, like, nigga, I'm like, Lord, man, I said, man, I old can't. Old school nigga. I said, I can't do this. And how old were you at the time when you got at, over there? At like that 20, time, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm like in my 20s now, I'm okay. like, yeah. 28, 27. Yeah, like 27, 26, 27. Okay. So I'm like, man, I said, man, I can't do this. I said, no, uh, I can't do this, right? Mm -hmm. But, so when I went to clarification, I was like, say, man, you know, I, I mean, I put in for a college trade here, I don't want to come here, man, you know what I'm saying? I said, I'm ready, I'm ready to go and go back because I couldn't, when I was seeing the old, they were like, I'm like, no. So they like, nah, well, you gonna stay here, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, fuck. But when I went down the hallway, I was like, damn, they had TVs on the run. They got TVs on the run. You sit in your cell, hook up and listen to TV all day. You're living a life. Man, it was different, right? So I'm like, man, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But Young nigga been over there 11 years. He, been, he, he grew up in this crazy environment. Now, it, but it, now it, this is the catch though. I done did, I'm 11 years in a game hole, right? Nigga, the, the old nigga you talk to? Nah, that nigga 30 years in the hole. Wow. You get what I'm saying? They giving you wisdom over there? Uh, that's all they do. But when you think about, when I be thinking about lifers, and this is just me in my head, I'm thinking, they gonna be trying to fight you all the time and do all that stuff because they have nothing to lose. It's not like they can stack up no more time. But they wanna fight, they old niggas. See, they chilling, they, they OG. Chilling. But they, they gonna, that's where my game came from. Mm -hmm. When the old school nigga set me to the side and we sitting down having the real conversation, right? Cause when I first got over there, young nigga was on the basketball court, young nigga out of Houston, right? And uh, we hooping and I still remember, I was there about three days. Nigga had to flush him one, right? So I flush him, boom. That when the old school like say, man, listen, this ain't that kind of unit, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Sit back, chill, bro. This is what you do, man. This is player, bro. You know you, what I'm you saying? Over there, you over there for the get to it. Yeah. Like. So now he like, this ain't like that, homie. Look, you young. The female, they like it, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. It's wide open. So now you like, damn, man. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man. For real, because you know, on Ferguson, if you mess with a female, you got to be like, you gotta, it's, it's, it's different. You see what I'm saying? But over there, man, you can go, I can, nigga, they were walking in the hallway at the bar like this. And when you said female, you meant talking about a female yeah, guard. Yeah, Yeah. You like to see all that. What's up, baby? God damn, you know what I'm saying? What's up? You know what I'm saying? They straight getting to it. Man, they getting to it. I'm talking about like, and I'm like, man, God. I'm like, they ain't doing it like that over here. You know what I'm saying? It's wide open. It's wide open, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But, we had a warden over there. That was his philosophy. Man, I know y'all locked up. Listen, I don't care what you do. You messing with the officers? Yeah, that's on y'all. If you get caught, respect the game. I'm gonna send y'all all the way to Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> respect the game. That's what that's what he used to tell us. Mm -hmm. So he it wasn't like they was tripping over there. It was man, it was a man. I'm talking about it's different, right? But the game that you get from the old school, and you looking at this old school, right? He been locked up 30 years flat. And you sitting there like, man, if I don't get my life together, I'm gonna be just like this. Mm -hmm. Cause you ain't never seen no old guy that's been locked up that long when you on a young unit. You see what I'm saying? You ain't seen that. Remember that, y'all ain't never saw that, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there like, damn. And man. they never get out. I'm like, they ain't never get out. Man, they ain't about, they gonna do it, pull up, shooting ball, they in shape. I'm talking about like, you watching this, I'm like, man, this is real, man. They ain't never coming out. Reality up. check. Reality and you be coming a short time at this time, really. Exactly. So now, my mindset is, man, I'm finna get ready to go to the house, just, you know, but you gotta remember, like I always told you, you can't mess up for 11 years straight and do two years and see parole and think they finna let you go. That's what I thought. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And today like, I'm oh. like, man, I've been chilling for the last two years. Nigga, you messed up for the last 11, 11 years. years. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. Now, we over there. Like I said, now, now you can get caught up in the system over there. How many years did you spend over there? I, I stayed. I stayed over there six years. Seven, no, seven, six years because I went to Beto. I stayed on Beto six and a half months, and I came home. Okay, so but when you was over there and <clears throat> you was getting denied parole, um, how many times did they deny you? Man, I got denied. Uh, I know. I think. I mean, I don't even know how many times I kept getting two years set off. Two years set off. My last couple of years, I got one year set off. I got, I got one year set off like three times. You see what I'm saying? Do they have mm -hmm. a limit on how many times they can no. deny you? Mm -hmm. They no. do that many times because I got a partner still in there, and every time he come up, the couple that help, they had the issue with, they show up to keep him in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what what I'm saying is, so when you, when you finally got a, 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 a F-I-1 or F-I-2, what was it? F -I F-I-1. Oh, you were 45 days. You was happy. It what got does FI one mean? Oh, you was ready to go. Oh, see, you ain't number 45, 45 days. days. You get into the house, man. So you were like, man. Man, I, boy, when I got that FI. Not to the house, you mean to a halfway house? No, no, uh, no home. home. Oh, so you didn't have to do halfway no, house no, or no. none of that stuff? Mm -mm. I was on the monitor, though, for like, I was on the month for like 60 days. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you, 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 you go in at this early age. And, and and you young, like you you here you were fifteen and, and you come out at uh what how old I was? Thirty? Thirty one? Like thirty I don't know, I like thirty one. And like, you didn't have know, no kids before you went in, right? No kids. Okay. Thirty three. And and Y'all were thirty three. When you come home, you Jesus age, mm -hmm. you, you you come in you at fifteen, uh uh boy the world and changed. Oh man, tremendously. Everything done changed.